everyone! Welcome back to Guessing Up. My name is Kirsten. If this is the first time that you're joining me, thanks so much for being here. The goal behind Gussied Up is to make beauty accessible to all humans, especially the average ones, and to empower you to live your everyday to the fullest. So if that's something that you're interested in, please make sure to like, share, comment, as I would really appreciate that, and let's get started. So today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. I'm going to keep it relatively simple in the hopes that uh, you're inspired to follow along. And so today the first product that I'm going to be using, or the main product that I'm going to be using, is the Iconic Palette by Pharmacy. So this one is more of a bold palette, but I am excited to try out the shade Myth, which is this shade right here. It's a beautiful like pinkish red tone and I think I'm going to pair it with black truffle and potentially one other color. Like I said I'm going to try and keep it really simple today so hopefully it's a look that you could follow along with. These are relatively common colors so even if you don't have the iconic palette yourself hopefully you have something similar um, and you can follow along with me. So let's get gussied up together. So the first product I'm going to be using today is the pro to fit Eyeshadow Primer by Pharmacy. It's a cute little uh, cream pot primer. And I like to use this short haired but still fluffy brush um, to go ahead and apply that all over. And we're going to, as I said, just apply that just loosely all over the eye, all the way up to the brow bone. And as you have heard me say many times before, primers are very important because we don't want the oils to get through and crease our makeup. So make sure you're using a primer and not a concealer. All right, so the first shade that I'm going to go in today with is the shade Passion, which is this slightly mauve pinkish brown tone. It is a shimmer, so we'll see how this goes. Normally I avoid doing a shimmer as the crease shade, but I'm intrigued to see how this goes. So we are just going to add this directly above the crease. And if you're not sure where your crease is, if you look directly into the camera, you can see where it creases right here. And then you're just going to go right above that. And this is just going to be a nice transition shade for us so that we don't have a harsh line of color by our brow bone. So, there is that. The next shade that I'm going to go in with is the shade Black Truffle. And I'm just going to use a tapered blending brush. And as usual, tap off the excess. And all we're going to do here is pop that in the outer corner. Now it's going to look scary at first, but that's okay. Just work it in and take a little bit at a time. Now we're going to go back in with that shade Passion and just blend out the outer edge of that black so it's not so harsh. Okay, so the last shade that we're going to take is the shade Myth, which is the one that I'm most excited about. And I'm going to start off by going in with my finger and just applying that to the lid. And you're going to bring that right up to that black. So 
So that is the main part of the eye look. Really very simple, like I said, the black is a little bit daunting, but it's really not so scary. Um, if you are a little bit nervous about going in with the black, you can use a deeper brown. Um, use whatever you're comfortable with, really. Um, but that is the main part of the eye for today. Now, if you'd like, you can go in and you can do a liner on the top. Today, I'm going to be using the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. Now, eyeliner is completely optional, but I think with this look, it's definitely cute. <laughs> All right, now for a little bit of highlight. I'm going to be using the cream highlight, again by Pharmacy. This one is in the shade Rose Flash, and I just have this small, um, small brush. So we're just going to take a little bit of that on that brush and add that to the inner corner. And if that's not enough for you, I do have the shade Baby Cakes, which is very similar. And I do like sometimes using both of them um, at the same time because the highlight stick will help the powder stick. So now I'm just going to go in with Baby Cakes over the top. That's really going to make that pop. There we go. So now I am going to go in with the Extreme Curl Mascara. And as you've seen many times before, if you have any sort of a soft bristle mascara, even if you've had it for a while, wipe off all that extra. I'm not sure if you can see all of that in there, but that is a ton of extra product that you don't need on your lashes. You've heard me say it before. But spider lashes are out, guys. We don't need them. Now for highlight under the eyebrow, we are again going to go in with the Rose Flash Highlight Stick. And I just like to put that on and then blend it out with my finger. And again, if you'd like a little bit more of a bold highlight, you can always go in with a little fan brush, back in with Baby Cakes, the Mono Shadow. And... Now for brows today, I'm gonna to keep it really simple. Today I'm going to be using the Be Fit um, Clear Brow Gel. It's a little brow mascara. And I'm just going to comb that through the brow. And this is water resistant, so it's going to keep your brows in place once it dries down. Now for under eye, we are going to go back in with that shade Black Truffle. And we're going to take a flat edged brush. And you are just going to dab that on the under eye. You don't want to pull it because it will end up causing fallout, which you try to avoid if possible. 
And I'm going to stop at about halfway in the eye where the pupil is. And just bring it in slightly softly there. Again with the shade Myth. And we're just going to buff that out underneath. And if you need to, you can always go back in and darken up that black. To finish off this eye, we are going to go in with the Zen Mascara. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I love this because it has the dual sided brush. I love using the short end. For the under eye. And that is our eye look. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. And voila, I am back with both eyes done. What do you guys think? To finish off this look, we are going to do a little bit of highlighter on the cheeks as well as a lippy and then we are going to be done. So I'm going to go back in with the Pharmacy Rose Flash Highlighting Stick and I like to use this targeted blending brush from Real Techniques and I just pull some product off and tap that onto the cheekbone or above the cheekbone and a little bit behind the brow. And it gives you a nice, really soft, natural looking glow without being too crazy. And you don't even have to be wearing BB cream, tinted moisturizer, or you know foundation. I think it looks really nice just the way that it is. You can also do a little bit on your cupid's bow, your nose, anywhere else you like to highlight. But those are my core areas. And then, if you really want to shine, you can go in with more, especially if you're wearing like a foundation or something, you can go in with that baby cake shadow and put that on top. I won't be doing that today, except for maybe on the cupid's bow. So there we go. So initially when I thought out this look, I was initially going to do a red lip because it's really just like, of course, pin up red is gorgeous on everyone. Red is the color of Valentine's Day. But looking at this eye look, I decided I want to do something a little bit more like purpley, cherry based while still being red. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to use the lip liner in shade 226, which is this gorgeous berry color. And then I'm also going to go in with the shade number 10, Wild Cherry, um, from Pharmacy. So to start, I'm going to take the lip liner. Now that we have our lip liner done, I'm going to go in with the shade number 10, which is Wild Cherry. Or Sweet Cherry, it might be Sweet Cherry. I don't know. It's a cherry of some sort. And we're just going to fill in those lips.
and there we have it. This is our date night Valentine's Galentine's Day look. What do you guys think? Would you try out this look? Hopefully I kept it simple and you are going to test it out and send me some pictures or post some pictures of yourself being inspired by this look. And if not, that's also totally okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please like, comment, and share if you enjoyed. Um, I would greatly appreciate that. Thanks for taking the time out of your day for getting gussied up with me. I hope to see you next time. Bye!